Jeepers here, taking a look at uh, CMS Made Simple. This is uh, version 2.1.5. So in the, uh, the 2.x series, um, things changed a little bit in terms of uh, editing your pages and kind of the options that appear kind of by default. Um, now this particular example has a few more um, options and tabs that are going to be um, visible, but I'll just try and cover the basics here. So under content, it's now content manager under the content section. Uh, lots is uh, familiar territory here. The big difference is, is that we have some um, kind of hidden context menus um, for reordering, uh, changing your settings, collapse and expand all. Um, so expand all, and that's all it's doing, expanding the sub pages, uh, collapse all. It just keeps things a little bit tighter on the page as well. And the reorder takes us to the um, the drag and drop uh, interface for reordering stuff, but you still have all your controls um, that we're used to seeing. Now, some of the differences when editing pages is, um, so metadata, share this, ignore those, sidebar, ignore that. Um, those are custom uh, tabs that I've put in in this particular installation. Same with uh, these checkboxes here. Uh, but what I do want to cover is the main tab. So that's where you do your editing, you in, inset your graphics, all that stuff. Um, the navigation, which this is where you actually set the navigation um, menu. So the text that shows up there. So even though p this page might be called Athletes Overview, all we want to show in the navigation links is Overview because it's nested underneath Athletes. And our... Um, the section that it belongs in, the way this works now is once you, so if I select none, so we don't see any other options. So I have to go by parent-child relationship. So first athletes, and it will query and come back. And it's basically getting a list of subpages. So I could pick a, uh, pick a subpage beneath that as well to select. In this case, I don't want that. Logic, we don't have to worry about here, and options. So this is where we get to set our page alias and whether it's active, cacheable, and turning on and off, um, whether it's searchable and whether it's a WYSIWYG editor or not. Um, so that's kind of the basics in terms of um, the pages and what we can cover there.